Welcome back to Dead Good Book Reviews. I'm Judith and you're watching another episode of Overbooked here on the channel. This is the series where I review every single book on my shelves because I'm going to be a lady knight and nobody can stop me. Today we are talking about the Tortle series, all the bits of it that I have read. We're talking about Tamara Pierce. Let's go. I'll be honest with you, I haven't scripted this. I haven't really thought about it that hard. I was just going to speak from the heart and maybe try and get a guest, but probably not just based on the editing time that I have available. We'll get the guest on a future live stream. If you are that guest, please let me know when you're available to be on that live stream. Street, you know who you are. So yes, Tamara Pierce. The reason we are talking about this in Overbooked is because I own four Tamara Pierce books in physical form. This is The Protector of the Small Quartet, but there are a number of Tamara Pierce books around and available. So I'm gonna just rely on the Wikipedia article a bit here because why not? So the only Tamara Pierce books that I have read are part of the Total series, so that's what we're talking about here. We have The Song of the Lioness Quartet, which started in 1983 with Alana, The First Adventure. We have The Immortals Quartet, or series, which started in 1992 uh, with Wild Magic. We have Protector of the Small, which is these, which started with First Test in 1999. We have The Trickster series, which I haven't read yet. This is the first that I haven't read, which was in in 2003 with T Trickster's Choice and Becca Cooper The Hunt Records which was in 2006 with Terrier which is on my TBR. And then finally we have The Numair Chronicles which has Tempest and Slaughter which is the first book which came out in 2018 which I have also read. So I've read around this, we're not talking about this as like a I'm a person who's read all of these and I can definitely speak to all of them, we're talking about I've read three series in this overarching series world place and also one of the other ones. <laughs> it's gonna be chaotic, just live with it, it's absolutely fine. I encountered these books through my dear friend Asha who is just a wonderful human being, I will link her blog below if you want amazing amazing book recommendations including a lot of older stuff especially if you're like me and you kind of took a break from reading for a good few years and also you kind of feel like your childhood you missed out on a lot of really good stuff. Asha's blog is the place to be. Found out about them through her. I bought all of the Alana books myself, I own them on Kindle. Three of the four of the Immortals Quartet I got review copies of through NetGalley when they re-released them, so that was great. These I bought myself and Tempest and Slaughter I had a review copy of as well. So regardless of where books are coming from, because they come from all sorts of different places, nobody's paying me to talk about books and all opinions are my own. I'm gonna keep this <sighs> not that spoiler free to be perfectly honest, I'm not gonna spoil elements of the actual books, but I am gonna be talking about the overarching series, some of which necessitates a spoiler from a previous book, don't worry about it too much. If you do want to go into these knowing absolutely nothing, pause this video, go read all of them, come back when you've read them, we'll chat then. And lastly I will link the story graph for probably just the first Alana series in case you want to check out any content warnings for that and then you can Follow through all of the links and find other things yourselves because you're smart human beings and I believe in you. Let's do broad plots of the series that I have read. So the Alana series is girl takes her brother's place at night school and trains to be a knight all while hiding the fact that she is a girl. Wild magic is young girl who can talk to animals, learns to control her powers and also sort of fights in a large magical war. Protector of the small is first actual girl to go to night school because she's allowed to now because of the events of the first series. Uh, then there are the two series that I haven't read and then Tempest and Slaughter is a prequel. I would say like the series that I have read definitely follow on directly from each other and I believe that the other books do as well but they follow like the children of other characters. I haven't got that far yet, I can't speak to that. We'll do an update on this video at some point in the future but it came at the point of the overbooked schedule where I haven't had a chance to read the others yet so we're just powering through. I actually really enjoyed reading um, shorter books that are in an overarching series because obviously I've read books like that before. I'm reading The Cosmere at the moment so we do have those connections between worlds. I've read all the Robin Hobb which is also another different series in the same world but you follow similar characters and sometimes you see people's children and descendants and friends and aunts and all that stuff. I actually really liked it in the shorter form books. I think it works really well. It's an enjoyable time and you're not reading 300 pages to get to a reveal about a character, you know what I mean? So if you want that kind of story where you can immerse yourself in a world and where you think I wonder what happened to this person, you get to find out what happened to that person because it's the next series is all about them. It's a good time. And I think Tamara Pierce really sets the balance right of I'm following a brand new character so I don't want to just get bogged down into what happened in previous books but I do still want to know how my favourite characters are doing and I would like to have an update on their lives please. And there's a good balance between the two, at least in the series that I have read. These characters are absolutely fantastic. I love Tamara Pierce's characters. Her main characters are lovely. These like powerful female characters in every sense of the word. They are so fun. I really like the differences between the three heroines of the three series that I have read. Um, I really like the way that they approach romance, the way they approach sex, the way they approach all of the things that they're approaching is really interesting and really unique for its time. You know, this was 1983 when Alana came out. It was, I believe, quite ahead of its time. I've not read much other 1983 
fiction for young adults, but you know, for what I can tell, it feels ahead of its time. And they are just really great role models. I mean, we're not all going to night school. That's not something that we're doing. But in terms of if you wanted role models for your children, or if you wanted like interesting female characters, this is what my bar is now for YA. I want them to be the equivalent of these characters because they're just so fun and they're so cool and so easy to put yourself in their shoes, even though again, we're not at Knights College, but do I think that I would like to do that? Yes, I want to wield a sword and learn how to do it and best other people and have a great time and also maybe talk to animals. That would be great. Just I think Tamara Pierce really captures that uh, that kind of character that I as a child absolutely loved. Let's touch a little bit on the romance because there are romances, I think in pretty much every series, less so in Protector of the Small, but there's, there's romantic elements there. For one thing, these books are incredibly sex positive and they're very safe sex positive. Uh, it's less so about diseases, but more, mostly about pregnancy and avoiding it. I think that's really interesting and also something that you just don't see in other books as much. Maybe a little bit now, now that YA is getting a little bit more um, open about these things and there's more characters doing things. And maybe we're trying to explain, like, maybe you shouldn't try and get pregnant at 18, perhaps. Reading these as an adult, I was like, wow, how how important, how um, significant that must be for just having a character who goes, yeah, I do want to enjoy this. There isn't just one purpose to this thing. This is about intimacy and this is about enjoyment and this is about pleasure and all of that stuff. Really, really great. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, yes. Go after what you want, main characters in these books. <laughs> but aside from that element, the romance side of things, there are some really lovely romances in these things. Uh, I think that if you are a person who tends to root for a particular kind of thing in a love triangle, you might be disappointed. It depends where you tend to lean on these things, primarily in the Alana series. I think the later books do it very differently and there's sort of something for everyone in terms of the romantic pairings. There are some elements of the book that feel a little bit dated. We have the kind of like, desert people thing that happens in books like these uh, where you just sort of go oh, I don't think we'd write that now would we would we write that now would we maybe flesh them out a little bit more and make them a bit less of a stereotype probably well I don't want to wash that away with a well it was the 80s kind of response I think that Tamara Pierce is a writer would probably acknowledge those things were like less than ideal especially since I know she's gone back on other things and said yeah I think Alana probably would have been gender fluid if I wrote her now which is so interesting I think you have to read them with the knowledge that they are older books and I think that's something that particularly the Alana re-release that they did includes because Tamara Pierce writes quite long afterwards on them that talk about the process of writing the books and while she doesn't really get into and maybe I shouldn't have written them this way it does pitch them as books that were released in the 80s it's not saying like this is what we think should be out now I don't know I feel like it kind of needs that uh, cartoon disclaimer of at the time we wrote this and we don't want to exclude it but also maybe we wouldn't write it this way now just something to bear in mind if you're planning on picking these up they don't 100% hold up in all areas to modern scrutiny I have a hard time talking about these because there are so many different series and in hindsight I probably should have split this out into like three or four different videos but that feels like it would be so much for you to take in and I really like treating them as a whole because they all give that same kind of energy they all give those really cool female characters we, they have the really cool magical powers there's uh, an expansion of the world in terms of the magic and in terms of the way that the world changes across various generations that I really appreciate it. Um, so I think it is better to treat them as a project that you're getting into where you're going to read all the different series rather than just read one, put it aside, come back to it in a year. I think it works better to read them one after the other, which I did this year. I reread Song of the Lioness, I reread Wild Magic and the rest of the Immortals, that's what it's called, Quartet, and Protector of the Small. I read them all in one chunk and I really, really had a good time. Um, and I think that's overall what I can say, like regardless of potentially slightly outdated bits, maybe things that you don't get on with a particular romance, they are just fun books and they really capture the spirit of what I love about young adults and what I love about creating a world and characters within that world and just, ah. Oh, I want to read them again. I already want to read them again. They feel like books that had I discovered them as a child, I would have devoured and based my entire personality around. And honestly, as an adult, I still might do that. Am I thinking about making armour? Maybe I am. I'd quite like to learn how to do it. Even though this was incredibly waffly and a little bit babbly and a little bit gesturing with my arms way too much, I think that's all I want to say now. This is just more of a placeholder video for me. It's a placeholder until I finish the Becca Cooper series and the twit I nearly said the Twizzler that's not what it's called the Tricksters series that's the one I just want to get this overbooked video out so that you know that you should read it and so that it fits in with the alphabet and in maybe six months we will have an updated video where I'm going to talk about all the series in big detail but overall <laughs> right now should you read these yes yes you should I absolutely love them read them with a pinch of salt 
But other than that, you'll have a great time. What do you think? Have you read these? Have you read the other series? Have you read anything else written by Tamara Pierce? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd also be really interested to know if you are in the UK and you have read these, where you encountered them. Because I don't think we had them here. Unless you had a connection with the US, I don't think they were really a thing. And they really should have been in hindsight. They really should have been. Let me know all of those things down in the comments below. While you're down there commenting, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It makes me feel loved and appreciated. You can also follow me on social media. Come hang out on Discord where we have chill chats about books. I'd like to thank my patrons over on Patreon for supporting the channel. They are the best uh, and they support me and they get early access to videos and bonus content. If you would like to find out more and join their number, that's linked below. Thank you so much for watching. That's all from me and I will see you in the next one. It's gonna be some bloopers now. My camera battery is gonna die again. We're just gonna have to live with it. There may be a slight angle change when I adjust the battery. <laughs>